guys, so I just got home from Sephora and I didn't set up the camera right, so I'm voicing this part over, but I promise I'll be back to normal in a minute. But basically, I have had my makeup on for seven hours at this point and I have to go almost straight to teaching and then to a recital. So I don't have time to fix, like completely redo my makeup, so I'm gonna show you how I fix it. Uh, but first I'm gonna go eat lunch because I haven't done that yet and then I'm going to be right back and we will start the tutorial part so hold on just one second. <laughs> okay so I just ate lunch. I had SpaghettiOs. Please don't judge me. Sometimes I'm really lazy. This is my makeup from this morning just so you kind of have an idea of what I'm working with. Honestly this is pretty good for, what did I say, seven hours of wear. Um, it's currently 3.55 and like I said I was putting this on about 8.30 this morning. Um, just so you know what I put on, I put on the Professional, Benefit Professional as my primer. Then I used the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Outlast foundation and I set it with the Innisfree Loose Setting Powder. So honestly, it looks pretty good. Uh, my eyeshadow is pretty close to where it's supposed to be. Let me actually get out a really up-close mirror. It's starting to separate just a little tiny bit through here. And I'm creasy under my eyes where I'm always creasy. And then my... Lipstick has smudged a little bit. My priorities are to fix the center part of my foundation where it gets oily and breaks apart anyway. And then I wanna clean up my lip line. And other than that, I'm probably okay. I should do something with my hair though. So I need to be at work in half an hour, so I've got about 15, 20 minutes. So let's get to it. I'm gonna zoom you in. I'm gonna pull my hair back and out of the way just for now so that it stays out of my face. Okay, so I don't have any makeup wipes right next to me, so I'm just gonna see how much of this I can get off. And now I can get the pink from me rubbing it. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and my Mist and Fix, and I actually mentioned this in a recent video, but I didn't get to show you. So I just spray one section of it, so now it's wet right there. You can even tell a little bit, it's like bulgy right there. I just pat it across the center of my face, so it gets rid of any cakiness that's happening, and starts to help things work their way back together and be like one solid, cohesive piece of makeup again. Then I'm going to go back in with my Outlast Stay Fabulous. I used a mixture of 805 and 810 this morning, which is pretty normal for me right now. And it's a pretty good color match, maybe just a little bit dark, so I'm going to use a little bit less. Okay. Mixing those together on my hand. That's probably a lot more than I needed, but I'd rather have too much and just waste it than have to remix and not have them match. So I'm going to go back in with the same part of the Beauty Blender because I'm way too lazy to walk into the other room and get it wet. And then I'm also just on my finger, I'm going to take a little bit of foundation Now you can't really tell. It did get a little bit over the red, right? But I'd rather do that than have red on my foundation, so. Now I'm going to take an eye cream. This is the Fresh Rose Eye Gel Cream and I'm going to put just a little bit of that on a finger. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of it pat it under my eye. And then I'm going to take my concealer, this is the Maybelline Fit Me, blending that all together. Going in with my beauty blender. I'm going to reset those areas, so I'm going to take the Innisfree No Sebum, uh, the loose powder. Oh, looks like I just got powder all over everything. <laughs> okay, that's fine, I'm over it, it's fine. You can see I really, I didn't powder out here this morning, I really did just powder straight down the middle of my face. And you can tell that I really don't have any shininess out there, so yeah, I'm pretty much just straight down the center is where I get oily. Then I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Brightening Powder. See, there's even powder on my powder. And I'm just going to take that right under my eye. I'm going to refresh my blush. This morning I used the Sephora Collection Sweet On You Number no. 5 blush. And I used it on this big round fluffy brush from Sunny Kashuk, just really lightly right here. You could see I really don't apply very much and there wasn't very much left anyway, so that's fine with me. And this morning I used this Smashbox highlighter, it's the Soft Lights in Shimmer, which we don't sell at my Sephora anymore, so I don't know if it's discontinued or if it's just not available at Sephora's or what's up, but... I'm just gonna reapply that as well. I'm not going to put on contour though because here's the thing about contouring, it really looks best when you're looking straight on, right? But when you're playing piano, here's what you see of my face. So if you have a, you know, you can see there's 
maybe you can see, I can tell. There's still just a little bit of contour on here from this morning, but not very much. And so I'm just gonna let that be enough. Cause I don't want people to be like, oh wow, look at her contour. I want people to just look at my face. Also I can tell from right here that this color doesn't perfectly match down my neck. So I'm just gonna take a second and blend it in. Okay, and that just leaves lips. So this is the makeup bag that I had in my purse today. And my lipstick is in here. I also have a chapstick, so I'm going to take, it's called Lip Whip, but it's a moisturizing lip balm. Uh, my lips are feeling a little bit dry since I've already had this lipstick on again for seven hours. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on first. Mm, God, that already feels so much better. Okay, now that I've really worked that in, I'm gonna wipe off my finger. I'm, I think these are Dairy Queen napkins. You guys, I don't eat very healthily. I'm really not a very good role model. It's just, accept that. And then I'm gonna take this napkin, I'm gonna blot my lips. So they stay moisturized, but that moisture won't make everything just slide right off. And the lipstick I'm wearing today is the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Lip Cream in 206 Dashing, which is the only one I have. I don't know why I can't just remember the name of this, but it's beautiful, I love it. And as you could see, I had that on for seven hours and I ate lunch and really it looked pretty passable. If tonight weren't a recital night, I would have been absolutely fine with it. Just gonna touch this stuff up. And finally, I'm going to spritz this, how is this bottle? How, how do bottle? I'm gonna go ahead and spritz this stuff on my face just to help set everything back down. And it is 4.09, which means I need to be leaving the house in about five minutes. So I'm just gonna pull out my, sorry for all the noises, I'm gonna pull out my GHD. This is just a one inch uh, classic straightener. I'm gonna let my hair down. There really isn't anything in my hair right now. Uh, I washed it last night and then I put in the Perfect Hair Day nightcap. Right now I'm gonna put in some of the Caviar CC Cream because it has heat protecting in it. But by the way, that's how fast your GHD heats up. It's so crazy. And obviously I don't have time to curl all of my hair, but I don't want it to just look this flat. So um, I'm going to definitely part on the right side because that's the side the audience sits on. And then I'm just going to, I think, curl a couple of the pieces right around my face just a little bit, just give them a little bit of shape. Comb through these also so that they relax just a little bit. You can see there's just a little bit more body texture happening. Um, but I also want to keep this out of my face. I'm going to take a little elastic and I'm just going to pull up so you can see. Straighten that part out. I'm just going to pull up like this part right here and really loosely pull it back. Now I'm gonna get this second layer just a little bit. So there you go guys, that's exactly how I would and just did because this is real life. Refresh my makeup in the middle of a really long day. If you're working two shifts or if you have something to go do in the day, you get home from work and then you have something to go do in the evening, this is exactly what I would do. Just kind of fix where my foundation is having a problem Typically my eyeshadow doesn't move at all and then I would touch up my lips and you know because in the mornings I'm way too lazy to deal with my hair if it's a special enough event that I need to deal with it This is exactly how I'm gonna deal with it even though it's not perfect, you know, it's good enough for me I'm happy so awesome. I'm gonna go teach three lessons and then I'm going to have a recital and I'm really nervous about it because it's my first public recital in a concert hall on a Steinway in a while. <laughs> so I don't know how many of you guys know that um, my degree was in piano performance so when I graduated in 2011 that was like all I had spent most of my life doing especially the last those four years that I was in school that's all I ever did. I practiced and I had juries and I played concerts and it was great and I'm really only a very passable pianist. I'm not super awesome but it's good to be back but it's also terrifying. But the good news is that I practice better now than I used to. I don't practice as much, but when I do practice, it's a much better practice. 
So I think it's going to be okay because I think I've practiced it well enough that my body knows it, even though my brain is going to be freaking out! Hopefully that helps you out, especially as we're coming into the holiday season. I know there tend to be a lot of Christmas parties going on in the evening, or maybe even just getting drinks with friends, that kind of thing, catching up with friends and family. New Year's Eve is coming, and maybe not everyone has New Year's Eve off, or you have other stuff to do, but then you're gonna have a party to go to, so this is how I do it. If you have any questions, let me know. Oh, by the way, I bought the Gwen Stefani palette. I don't want to talk about it. It's fine. I couldn't resist it. So it's probably my last big makeup purchase for like the next six months. Like I, I think I'm going to go on a low buy, but we can talk about that later. So if there's anything specific that you want to see from the Gwen Stefani palette that you haven't already seen in other videos, I would love to show you that. Uh, obviously I'm going to do some kind of tutorial with it, but I feel like there are already a million tutorials that have been done with it. So I'm either going to do something really boring that's going to end up looking exactly like this, or if there's something you want to see, let me know and I will make that happen. So. Anyway, I really have to go to work. I have to be there in 13 minutes, and it's about a 10-minute drive, so I'm going to stop talking now, and I will see you again very soon. Bye, guys!